"'Twas the night before Christmas, and out on the ramp. Not an airplane was stirring, not even a champ. The aircraft were fastened to tie-downs with care, in hopes that come morning they all would be there. The fuel trucks were nestled all snug in their spots, with gusts from 240 at 39 knots. I slumped at the fuel desk, now finally caught up, and settled down comfortably, resting on my rump. When the radio lit up with noise and with chatter, I turned up the scanner to see what was the matter. A voice clearly heard over static and snow called for clearance to land at the airport below. He barked his transmission so lively and quick, I'd have sworn that the call sign he used was St. Nick. I ran to the panel to turn up the lights, the better to welcome this magical flight. He called his position, no room for denial, St. Nicholas one, turning left on final. And what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a rutan-built sleigh and eight Rotax reindeer. With vectors to final down the glide slope he came, as he passed all the fixes, he called them by name. Now Ringo, now Tolga, now Trini and Bacon, on Comet, on Cupid, what pills was he taking? While controllers were sitting and scratching their heads, they phoned to my office and I heard it with dread. The message they left was both urgent and dour. When Santa pulls in, have him please call the tower. He landed like silk, with the sled runners sparking, that I heard left at Charlie and taxi to parking. He slowed to a taxi, turned off at 3-0, and stopped on the ramp with a ho-ho-ho. He stepped out of the sleigh, but before he could talk, I ran out to meet him with my best set of chalks. His red helmet and goggles were covered with frost, and his beard was all blackened from reindeer exhaust. His breath smelled like peppermint gone slightly stale, and he puffed on a pipe, but he didn't inhale. His cheeks were all rosy and jiggled like jelly. His boots were as black as a crop duster's belly. He was chubby and plump in his suit of bright red as he asked me to fill it with hundred low lead. He came dashing in from the snow-covered pump. I knew he was anxious for draining the sump. I spoke not a word but went straight to my work, and I filled up the sleigh, but I spilled like a jerk. He came out of the restroom and sighed in relief. Then he picked up the phone for a flight service brief. And I thought, as he silently scribed in his log, these reindeer could land in an eighth-mile fog. He completed his pre-flight from the front to the rear. Then he put on his headset, and I heard him yell clear. And laying a finger on his push-to-talk, he called up the tower for clearance and squawk. Take taxiway Charlie the southbound direction, Turn right 320 at pilot's discretion. He sped down the runway, the best of the best. Your traffic's a grumman inbound from the west. Then I heard him proclaim, ere he climbed through the night. Merry Christmas to all, I have the traffic in sight.